Hi guys, welcome or welcome back. My name is Stephanie and on this channel I share my financial stresses and successes on our journey to be debt free. I have a family of five. My husband and I both work full time. We have three boys ages uh, nine, seven, and three. We live in Florida and we're on a journey to pay off over $70,000 in credit card debt. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in watching, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Today I'm going to do my September 2023 uh, monthly budget with you guys. Our month of September is going to be from August 31st through October 4th. This is a magic month for both my husband and I. He gets paid weekly, so he'll get five checks, and I get paid bi-weekly, so I'll get three checks. So we are looking at um, over $11,000 worth of income this month, which usually we have about $8,500 of income. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. I'm using my Galaxy S6 tablet and my S Pen to do my budget digitally. These are some budget sheets that I created myself. I created this um, on a Word document. I forget what they call it, like a table. I made some tables and then I purchased stickers for like fonts and uh, washi and you know decor off of Etsy. I'm not sure exactly where I got this a long time ago. I've had this tablet for over two years, so, um, yeah. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into the numbers. So for our income, first we have my husband and I'm expecting him to bring in, uh-oh, let's turn on the writing function, hold on. Okay. I'm expecting him to bring in $6,500 this month. And for me, I'm expecting $4,950. So that is gonna give us a total income anticipated of $11,450. Okay, now on to our fixed expenses. Um, because of the way the month is set up for us, I will have to pay my van payment twice because it's due on the third. So for the Pacifica, we're going to budget $710. Um, for our life insurance, my husband's life insurance is going to have to be paid twice for the same reason. So that'll be $108.26. Florida Power and Lights. Ooh, the bane of my existence, y'all. Our light bill this month is 26028. If this isn't your first time here, then you know we also have solar panels, which we pay $155 a month for. So essentially our light bill is $415 this month. So we are talking to the company who put our solar panels on our house. We are sending them our bill every month. We have been since June. So they've seen our June bill, July bill, and now our August bill because it just keeps going up and up. As it gets hotter and hotter, the AC is running more and more. And um, it's just causing our light bill to be, you know, extremely high. So we're trying to get them to get us some more panels so that we don't have to deal with this anymore or take all these panels back because... 260 is a normal light bill, maybe $300. So um, we could save $100 if we didn't have to pay our solar panel bill. But um, ideally, we'd like them to get us some more panels so that we can raise our bill by a few dollars a month as far as the solar panel bill goes to lower our light bill hundreds of dollars a month. So um, I will update you guys on that as the information becomes available. But right now it is what it is. We just got to pay it. So our internet bill is $75.29. For cell phones, I have Mint Mobile and my husband has um, AT&T. I do uh, every three months for Mint Mobile. So this month I have to pay my three month uh, subscription. So it's going to be $238.20. 
I have um, two lines for Mint Mobile. We have one for my oldest son and my line, and then my husband has AT&T. Excuse me, just getting a little bit of tea. I mean, coffee here. It's 8.15 in the morning on a Sunday, so I'm trying to get this video out for you guys because the month is creeping in on me. For my husband's truck payment, it is $5.76. Instant ink, we pay $4.25. Our Microsoft Office is $6.99. Next gen is uh, normally $20, but we're gonna have to pay it twice this month, so $40. Tuition, this is for my three-year-old. He goes to like pre-pre-K. <laughs> he goes to a three-year-old pre-K program. So that's $435.15. Our tithe is always $150. Our mortgage is 18.26.11. Netflix is 21.67. No, 21.69. Vice Star, we're gonna pay 264. Our Vice Star joint card is gonna get 136. Our Chase number one card is going to get $137.95. This is the card we're doing our debt snowball on. The minimum payment for this card is $40, so we are almost making over $100 a month more of a payment. Um, the next video I do after this one is going to be my updated debt numbers for you guys, so that'll be coming out soon. Our Chase number two card is going to be um, $255. The um, interest-free period on this card has expired. I think the payment was 115, but now with the interest, the payment has gone up. It's 255 a month, so I think it's like 20%. So that sucks. Uh, you guys will see, you know, all these interest charges on my uh, debt update. And then our third Chase credit card is 105. The solar panels are $155.76. Bank of America is $136. And those good old student loans that are now um, accruing interest as of September 1st. I'm going to go ahead and start making my payments. So they are $150. So let me add all of this up really quick speed you guys through it so that's five thousand two hundred seventy two dollars oh and my tablet is so laggy I downloaded um good notes they now have good notes for Android I was so excited because I've seen so many people using good notes on Apple tablets um so I downloaded it on my tablet and it's awful it's nothing like the Apple version of good notes I'm not sure why they can't do the exact same thing for Android as they did for Apple but I don't know if my tablets lagging because it's taking up a lot of space but it wasn't being extra laggy before I downloaded it so I'm not sure what's going on there okay so for um, we have our car insurance sorry Try not to turn the tablet. Our car insurance is not due until October, but we're gonna put 68907 to the side so that we can um, have about half of it for October. Since we have an extra you know, a couple extra paydays this month. It just is easier for us to save the money. We pay in full um, every six months and it's always around the time that we get extra paychecks. So I'm just gonna save half now. 
and then we'll pull the rest out at the beginning of October. We did hire a cleaning service to come in and help keep our house clean. I'm just struggling with working full time, taking care of uh, the animals and taking care of the kids and cooking and doing dishes and laundry. Like I just can't keep up with like the regular cleaning, you know, like the vacuuming, the, the mopping, the cleaning of the bathrooms, like with sports and all the things that we have going on. It's just been really hard. So we did hire someone to come in and clean our house once a week. So she hasn't started yet. She's going to start in September. So I'm not sure. Um, we did agree to $20 an hour. So I'm budgeting for five hours a week for four weeks. So $400. I'm not sure you know how much we'll actually spend but we'll see as time goes on hopefully she can get a lot done in less than five hours but I don't know um so that means our miscellaneous expenses are 1089 dollars and seven cents Okay, so let's go to our cashless envelopes. We are a cashless family, it just makes more sense for me. I buy everything online from groceries to dog food to, you know, um, household things. We put um, gas in our cars with our uh, credit card or debit card. It just works out better for us to be cashless, so that's what we do. We are a family of five and groceries are hecka expensive. Um, for our grocery category, it also includes our household items. So any like laundry detergent, um, shampoo, um, body wash, toothpaste, all those things come out of groceries. I look at groceries as anything consumable. So food and other things that are consumed is our grocery category. So for this month, we're gonna do $1,250. Um, blow money is... Um, all my new crayons. You come look at all of them. Come look at them? Yeah. Okay. Okay, blow money is money for my husband. He works retail and he works, um, sometimes he'll go in at like 5 a.m. Sometimes he'll go in at like 1 p.m. and get off at 11 p.m. So he has varying shifts and a lot of time he doesn't eat dinner at home or um, like me and the boys when we go out to eat, he doesn't go out to eat with us because he's working on the day that we go out to eat. So this is extra money for him to be able to eat um, around his work schedule for the dinners um, that he's missing at home. Um, cars is gonna get $1,120. This is anything that we need for our cars, like registration, oil changes, um, gas. This month I'm getting tires, so I'm getting two tires on my van, which is $320, so our normally or excuse me, our normal car budget is $700. So $700 plus the $320 gives us $1120. For household this month, we're going to do $350. We did have our um, water softener serviced and our reverse osmosis system uh, filters changed. So that was like $200. We um, are working on a permit for the deck we're about to build around our pool so that was like 70 some dollars 
and then a little bit of money for other things that are gonna pop up throughout the month inevitably like it always happens so 350 for that um, for pets we're gonna do $1,079 we bought a chicken coop for our new chicks. It was $4.79. And then um, our usual budget for pets is $2.20. So that leaves $3.80. And like off the top of my head, I can't remember why I needed $300, $380 for pets. Um, but I'm sure it's something that we already bought for, for the pets. Um, most of the time, these expenses, these categories, like the money I'm bringing in is what we spend on our credit card that we have to pay off. So I have a list of the things that we've bought and how much it is. So once I do my weekly check-ins, you guys will see how we consume this $1,079. For kids, we're going to do 50 bucks. They don't have anything special going on this month, thank goodness. For medical, we're also gonna do 50 bucks for that medical bill that we have. For eating out, we're gonna do 250, which is $50 a week. And for clothes, we're gonna do 145, because my husband needed some new undershirts and work shirts. He buys those, um, or he wears those like fishing shirts, the ones that have like the vented back, the long sleeve, like SPF um, fishing shirts that button up. So those were pretty expensive. I wasn't expecting how much they cost, but it is what it is. So, all right, so for cashless envelopes, we're gonna do $4,444 even. For our sinking funds, the only one we're going to fund this month is Christmas for $125. The rest of them are going to get nothing because we have a lot of variable spending going on. So, Alright, this should give us a... Oh, that's an ugly zero. This should give us a zero base budget. So let's do some math really quick. 11,450 minus 52,7293 minus 1,089,07 minus 4,444 minus 125. Oh, it's 519. Okay. What I do wrong? Okay, so I got it. I'm asked, I go ahead and get an applesauce, baby. I added up my fixed expenses incorrectly I just re-added them up so they are five thousand seven hundred ninety one dollars and ninety three cents that's what I get for trying to 10 key without looking okay so eleven four fifty minus five seven nine one nine three minus one eighty nine oh seven minus four thousand four hundred forty four dollars minus 125 is zero Alrighty. So that is a look at our September 2023 budget. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.